Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a recipe for almond milk yogurt. Many of you asked for this recipe perhaps because you're not a fan of coconut or just want to alternate between coconut yogurt and almond milk yogurt, so here it is. Since it's almond milk yogurt, the base for this yogurt consists of homemade almond milk. I have shared a recipe for homemade almond milk on my channel before, so I'll link the recipe in the description box below. I would highly recommend that you make the almond milk yourself as opposed to getting it in the store because I haven't always had success with store-bought almond milk. I'm not sure if it's the additives that it contains, but it doesn't culture properly. Now, the problem with using almond milk for dairy-free yogurt is that it never thickens. Without a thickener, the yogurt turns out very thin and runny. The thickeners I use for this almond milk yogurt are kuzu root and agar powder. Kuzu thickens the milk, providing a creamy texture, while agar contributes to more of a pudding-like texture. The easiest way to mix the thickeners with the milk is to dissolve them in just a tiny bit of milk. If you add the thickeners into the entire amount of milk, the thickeners will kind of just float on top and won't mix in properly. Add the rest of the milk and heat it over medium heat until it reaches a gentle boil, whisking the almond milk constantly to make sure both thickeners are fully dissolved and don't stay at the bottom. Continue stirring the almond milk for about 5 minutes. This will not only activate the kuzu and agar, but it will also sterilize the milk and prevent bad bacteria from cultivating. Remove the thickened almond milk from the heat and let it cool to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. This is important because if the almond milk is too hot, it will kill the cultures. So I would highly recommend that you use a thermometer. I like to transfer the almond milk into a sterilized bowl so it cools down faster. To culture the almond milk, you can use a plant-based yogurt starter or probiotics. The advantage of using a yogurt starter as opposed to probiotics is that it contains cultures specifically found in yogurt. If you go with probiotics, make sure they contain the right bacterial strains. I have them listed on my blog, I will leave a link to the recipe blog post in the description box below. Just like with the thickeners, add the cultures into only a tiny bit of the thickened milk first so they mix in properly. Let the almond milk culture for 5 to 6 hours, anywhere between 105 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a yogurt maker, you can use your oven with the light on. The longer you incubate the almond milk yogurt, the tartar it will be. Taste the yogurt after about 6 hours. If it's tart enough for your taste, place the yogurt in the fridge for at least 8 hours. The yogurt will set as it cools. Now, this is totally optional, but because my husband doesn't like plain yogurt, I used a little bit of maple syrup, vanilla bean, and vanilla bean paste to flavor the yogurt. And that's it. Homemade almond milk yogurt that is thick, creamy, and slightly tart. It 
To be honest, I don't usually make almond yogurt. I usually make coconut yogurt, for which I already have a recipe on my channel. I'll link it in the description box below. But this morning, I gave some of this yogurt to my daughter and she looked at me and she was like, Mommy, this is really yummy. What's your opinion on this yogurt center? I would have to agree. If I did not know that this was almond yogurt, I wouldn't be able to distinguish it from dairy yogurt. And I have eaten a lot of yogurt in my time, so that's really impressive. I think that the flavor is almost identical to like a dairy yogurt in that it has that same tartness and um, dry flavor that comes in the aftertaste, like as it goes across your palate, there's like that, you want to eat more is, is essentially what happens because it's, it's liquid at first, but by the time it reaches the back of your palate, it tends to thicken up, gets that tart taste and that sweet flavor has declined. So very similar in normal dairy yogurt comparatively. And the vanilla flavor that Petra has added here is coming through quite nicely as well. So I think this is a yogurt that you can easily flavor. Yes, and I made it into vanilla yogurt because Tanner does not like unsweetened yogurt. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.